Okay, three, two, one, it's jam. Hey everyone, and welcome to the Bebop. Today, I'm going to be going over my 2022 pre-orders. Now, I know what you're thinking. It is now April. I'm about three months late to be announced my pre-orders. The reason I'm doing that is because I did not have any pre-orders for January and February. I did only have one pre-order in March, which I will be covering in this video. But I decided to do this video a little late because one, I want to figure out how I want to do the channel and how I want to present it. But nonetheless, here are the pre-orders starting with an album mention from March. In March, there was Katakawa's KD Collect Adel Bello from Overlord 1-7 figure. And I already had an unboxing of this figure on my channel, but I just wanted to kind of review it, go over it a little bit with you guys. And if you actually are interested, go check out that unboxing. It's my first unboxing on the channel, so it might be a little rough. Again, still trying to figure out how the channel goes. But it's overall a beautiful figure. I did highly love it. It's just amazing. As I say in the unboxing itself, I love how Bella looks like she's coming down from the sky and just floating there. It's just a beautiful figure, and it's like the cream Overlord El Bello figure that I wanted. So I do love this figure. It came in at about 26,130 yen, and that's about $213 US. I bought it from my Miami, and I think it's still up on sale there if you're still interested in getting it. So I highly recommend picking it up if you want an El Bello collection. Moving on to April, I have two figures pre-ordered for April. The first one is Shui from No Game No Life Zero, one seven scale from Fat Company. This one comes in at about 15,600 yen, around 127 USD. I really want to continue my No Game No Life collection. I already have Shiro and Stephanie, but Shui from Zero was a must have and also it fits with my collection. I look forward to having her in my collection as well. Next, I have Freen's B Style, Addis Nikiri from Food Wars or Shokugeki no Soma. This one comes in about 23,700 yen and about 193 USD. Now, if you don't know, and I haven't done my complete room tour and everything, but I am trying to collect every Food Wars bunny figure there is. I already have the first three I have Rendo, I have Arena, and I have Aruto, which all three of them came from three different, <laughs> three different sites. So it took me a little while to collect all of them. But I actually have at is pre-ordered from Miami Ami. and I love this figure right now because Addis is probably <laughs> Addis is pretty much tied with Irina who was my favorite in Food Wars um but I love this figure I love the fact that they went with a white suit rather than like a black I probably would like the red as well but I think white fits her very well I love that her figure is more playful the fact that she's sticking her tongue on and everything it fits her character I think each of these bunny figures with Full Wars has fit the character and Addis I do love so I'm very I look forward to having her come April Okay, I find enough I don't have any pre-orders in May, so that's one good thing. But moving on to June, I actually have two figures for June. The first one is a continuation of my No Game No Life collection I want, and that's Shiro, again, from Fat Company, it goes with that collection, so. And I've been looking for this figure for a long time. I wouldn't say it's one of my grail figures, but it's one, one of my most sought after figures because I really did love it. And the aftermarket for this figure was ridiculous. It was like $300, $400 or sometimes, but I'm so happy that I saw this for, for pre-order and was able to pre-order this one because I'm very happy I don't have to pay aftermarket prices for this one. So I do love it. It is running about 14,770 yen approximately 120 usd and again i just love the cutter of it i love the fact that she holds like the plan in her hands i love the three mini figures that come with her brother and jabril on it i love this figure i think this is gonna be the second to last figure i really need for my no game no life collection the last one i really need is a jabril one from no game no life and not so much no game no life zero so looking for a jabril one later the next figure i have for june it's actually from a game that I have not played, but I just saw this figure and it was just beautiful. And that is Genshin Impact Ningguan. 
I'm hoping I pronounced that correctly, but this figure is just gorgeous. I legitimately saw it and I was like, I love the fact that she's just, how it just pulls. I love her, how she's sitting down. I love everything that comes around a figure. I love the smoke effect and I hope it comes with this background. So it's supposed to be a very large figure because it's supposed to be a single shipping. So it's going to have a high shipping price, unfortunately for it, but that's fine. Um, but if you don't know, I really love figures that sit down because there's I feel like there's not a lot of those and it makes them look a little bit more elegant and I think that's probably why there are not too many sitting figures but I love the elegance of figures that sit down in kind of like a throne type of environment and I have pretty much a dedicated shelf for those figures and if she can fit in there she will probably be like the crux of that because she is just gorgeous and again I have not played Genshin Impact I've just seen this figure it's like okay I'll, I'm, I have to get this one because it's just beautiful and she's like the first figure in my entire collection that I've pre-ordered that I don't know the source material, I don't know the character. So she is the first figure I've ever done with this. And there's one later on that kind of does this as well, but she is the very first one I saw. I was like, yeah, okay, I have to get her because she's just gorgeous. That's going to do it for my June pre-orders. Next up is my July, which I only have one for July. For July, we have Mega House's exclusive Kawa Bebop Spike and Faye rerun. Now, I missed the original run of this figure, and I am very mad that I did because at the time I was kind of again going through some stuff for work and everything, so I was very upset that I missed it. And trying to get this on again aftermarket was just ridiculous, and just <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't put up with it. Right now, the retail for the rerun right now is thirty thousand eight hundred yen and approximately 250 USD. Now, again, Cowboy Bebop is my favorite series. I have about all five of the resin figures from first four figures. I have the first three, and then I have two more that's still yet to release. That's Ed, that's Ed and I and Vicious, who are supposed to be shipping later this year. But I am trying to collect as many of the Cowboy Bebop figures as I can. I just love this. So I hands down had to get this figure because I love how dynamic it looks. I love the broken glass behind them. I love how Spike and Fair both position in a very iconic type of way. It's just great. And also I love the fact that Spike in his coat like pretty much towards the end of the series where he's just kind of fighting vicious but this is just beautiful. I love the fact that they have Spike Swordfish 2 behind them which you kind of want to think they would go with the the um, Bebop itself but the Swordfish is the more iconic of all the ships. It's just a lovely thing behind them, so I love this. And also, it still comes with the changeable heads to where I can put Spike with the cigarette in his mouth or without. And I could put Faye with her glasses or without as well, so I still get that choice. But most likely, when I display these above, when I display these above all my Cowboy Bebop collection and everything, they will still have those iconic like cigarette and mouth and glasses when I display them. So I, this is probably like my most anticipated figure for next year because it's just Spike and Faye and it's Cowboy Bebop so I very much look forward to it. Okay. For August, I have a very one-time figure from this series. It's Ai Hayasaka from Kage-sama's Love is War. Now, I actually like the series very much. I just haven't collected anybody from the series because as much as I love Chika, I love Kaguya, and I, I love, you know, love still in constant presence everybody. I'm not like a big fan of the series. It's was like, I want to get fig like the bunny figures of all of them or anything like that, so no. But in my opinion, and it's just me. I know there's a lot of people who love Kyle Yellow. A lot of people love Chica. But best girl for me in that series is I. <laughs> She's just amazing. I love her personality. I love how she trying to coach uh, Kaguya through a lot of this. So I love I. She is literally best girl in that series. So I'm very happy to give, be able to give her like a 1 7 scale figure. Um, the manufacturer for this figure is a combination of Ami Ami and Amakuni. And the figure runs about 14,300 yen, approximately 116 USD. 
again i love this figure and it's actually a good height at 1 7 so i make this that's very good especially if she will go on the waifu show of not the waifu show she's gonna go on my best girl show so i have a literally a shelf of just best girls and just one-offs of most series because i don't collect every figure of every series but she's definitely in that the next figure i have for august is actually not a figure for me it's actually a, a birthday gift for one of my friends and it is i really hope i pronounce this right it's a panda standard chinese figure um i really don't know this friend in fact it's queen kang i really hope i hope i pronounced that correctly um it's gonna be running for about fourteen thousand ninety yen and about 115 usd again i only bought this figure because i have a friend and she loves panda figures so i thought this would be a very very cool figure to get her hopefully and she and again this channel is still too new so i don't think she'll ever see this before her birthday so but i thought this figure would be a, like just a really nice gift to give her so i won't be doing an unboxing of this figure on a channel i might just do like a pretty much a, a show off the box and that's pretty much it for like the video haul for that month but that's really it it's just a one-off figure that's not even for me but i want to mention it here because that will be included and in the fact that i have to pay for it so that's my august line We have another pre-order in August and it is a pre-order from about more than a year ago and this pre-order got pushed back by a year or so um, it is Stronger's Smash Kiralite Shielder from Fate Grand Order fully armored version now I ordered this back in 2020 I, I believe and it was supposed to come out 2021 but again the rerun got pushed back again to August of this year so I'm kind of disappointed by that but at the same time it's at this point already peed up it's already paid off because i ordered it from right stuff um so i'm very hopeful it doesn't get pushed back again because i do want this figure i do want a figure of mash because i do love her as a character i do love her as like just everything about mash in the, the fake grand order series and everything so i really hope this doesn't get pushed back again and this one ran me about 275 usd i don't have the yen on it so it most likely will be in the description below but I really do hope this figure comes out this year because I really do love Mash and I want her in my collection. So hopefully she doesn't get pushed back again. For September, I only have one figure, and that's Mega House's Evangelion movie, Rei Ayanami. This figure is beautiful, and I, his thing, I'm not the biggest fan of Evangelion. I like the series enough. I'm okay with it. Am I, like, drooling over every figure that comes out, like the ones that have monochrome colors? I don't think they're beautiful, but I'm not that big of a fan of the series. But I do love Rei. She's, again, going to be going on that best girl shelf. And I had to have this one because it's her in her lone hair which i love that and she's also sitting so i'm just like okay it's a ray figure lone hair and she's sitting i'm like okay have to pre-order this one had to have it it's gonna run about for 17,380 yen approximately 140 usd and again i think if i have at least one of each best girl from a series that i really like or that I just somewhat like i think that's gonna be this figure was kind of too hard for me to pass up because again, is there are not that many figures of Ray with long hair, um, and it's very hard to see. And like, even like for Ray figures in general, all of them are like the short hair version, which I love for the short hair. It's beautiful at the same time, but because you don't see her with long hair very often, I think this is like the figure to get. Now, if you want a long hair Ray figure, there's also a pop up parade that's coming out, but I don't i didn't again it's a standing figure and it's kind of basic i didn't want that i like the sitting figures sitting figures are again a very like very <laughs> something like i must have with sitting figures because i love that and it's not that many sitting figures so the fact that ray with long hair and sitting i mean that was a must buy for me at that point
moving on to October. Now, I actually didn't have any pre-orders for October until recently. And with this one, it's my first Nendroid. And it is Shoko Komi from Komi Can't Communicate. And it's by Good Smile. It's running for about 4,620 yen, approximately 38 USD. Now, I love Komi Can't Communicate. I've been reading the series legitimately, religiously, every time a new volume comes out. And I love this figure <laughs> so much because I love the fact that as Komi, you can put her in a shy face. I love that you put her stern face when she's just walking or especially the one I'm probably most likely to go with is the cat face <laughs> with the cat ears. So I'm just like, oh my God, it's a cute Komi. <laughs> and I was like, if they never make a scale figure of Komi, I think that's fine because I think the Nendroid actually fits the character and it fits the series perfectly because of like how expressive and how kind of very emotional like the, the faces that they make are in the manga and in and in the recent anime i think the ninjoy fits this a lot better because i don't think a scale figure can capture that chibi very cuteness of komi so i'm very happy this is gonna be my first ninjoy because i think this very much fits that aesthetic of komi can't communicate and i love this figure and i didn't i didn't think i was actually going fall in love with like a ninjoid because even though like i have some random pop figures in which i've stopped collecting pops and i never thought i'll actually collect a ninjoid but if komi's gonna be my first ninjoid i'm happy with that i could literally start and end my collection with her and be like okay i'm good that's the only <laughs> ninjoid i could get so i don't know we'll see if i can like any more ninjoids in the future but this this ninjoid is just perfect and i love it i i i have nothing to say i'm gonna love Komi just sitting there next to the manga series so Komi is definitely in that realm of best girl and if they make a scale figure of her I might get one just to put her in that best girl shelf Moving on to November, I only have one figure pre-order and this was most recently because I didn't know if I actually wanted to pre-order this figure because again, it's not based off of anime, it's not based off of manga, it's based off of illustration. It's manufactured by Illustration Revelation and Goodsmile Company and it is the toy collaboration Yuji Mingeki. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. But this figure, every time I saw it, I was very like tempted to buy it and it literally just kept popping out to me i'm just like this looks beautiful and the more and more i saw it the more and more i was just like okay no i, I let me pre-order this before i regret it i can always cancel it if i don't want it but i'll be honest i don't cancel figures at all i have not canceled one pre-order i've had in the last about what almost 10 years of collecting figures um but yeah i've i love how this figure looks it's very different than everything else i have in my collection and i feel like this is something i can actually put somewhere other than like my collection area i feel like i like pretty much display this in like the living room with a bunch of like my different art because this is an art piece and i think that's what's so different about it is just the fact that it's an art piece it's somewhat revealing yes but at the same time i think for like the stuff that i like as far as like art that you see in general this is very artistic and i love that and i think that's pretty much what they were going for because it is based off an illustration and it's just a beautiful piece i really do love this one it's probably going to fall it may very well be one of my grail figures when it comes in because i do just love it depending on like how great the quality of how great the value of the, the figure is i think this will probably be great um i have skipped it I haven't mentioned yet, but it is going to run about 24,700 yen. It's going to be about $200 USD, which is an amazingly good price for the figure. I don't recall what the scale is for it, because I don't think they have actual scale because it's not based off of character or anything. So I don't know. I'll probably review that once it actually comes in, but I love this figure. I love the acrylic background of the flowers behind the character. I love just everything about it. So. I will probably be displaying this very prominently somewhere in my actual main living room rather than in my office where it's kind of askew somewhere. But I do, I really do love this figure. I'm very happy I got the pre-order for it before I missed out. So, look forward to it.
I have one figure for December, and it is the rerun of Good Smile Company's Cobble Bebop 148 scale model of Swordfish 2. Again, I love Cowboy Bebop and I love the Swordfish 2. I have a very miniature version of it. It's the, um, I think it's like the 1 100 scale of it. It's very small. It's, it was only like 50 bucks when I got it. But this figure is very, very, very much more detailed. And it's, it's, the paint job looks a lot more finished on it. It has very like some damaged paint on it and everything else. It just looks a little more worn. And I love that given the fact that the figure is supposed to be blasting through space and everything. It also has like a small spike in the cockpit, which I think the smaller version does as well. But this one, you can actually probably see him a lot better. This one's going to run about 32,800 yen, approximately 268 USD. And the aftermarket for this figure later on, especially like at local shops for me, they were trying to set it for like 500 and everything. In which I was like, I was tempted at one point to buy it for 500, but I'm very happy I didn't. I'm very happy that Amiami and Good Smile Company put it back on pre order. So I look forward to having this figure because, again, having the swordfish is literally the crux of like all space spaceships in all of anime for me because it's just the spaceship for me because it's Spike Swordfish 2. You gotta have it. <laughs> I love it. So I'm very happy I got this one on pre order. I look forward to it and to spay him next to all my Cowboy Bebop collection. So, at some point, if you if you guys want it, I will display that entire Cowboy Bebop collection with the art and everything that comes with it. But I'm very happy I was able to get some pre-order and not have to pay the outrageous five hundred to sometimes eight hundred dollars for this one forty-eight scale figure. So, love the fact that I get to actually own this one now. That's actually gonna do it for my 2022 pre-orders. Now I do have one pre-order for 2023 and it's late 2023. And I'm gonna talk about it here because I do love it and it's going to be my first of this character and probably my only of this character. And at this point when I have it, I pretty much think, okay, I'm officially a figure collector now because I own this character. And that is Good Smell Company's 1-7 scale Hatsune Miku from Soul Wall. This figure is beautiful and it's it's very casual outfit, which I again another thing I love about some figures is the fact I love the casual wear, I love the Chinese dress ones, I love something that's outside of what the natural character wears. But this figure, there's been a lot of Hatsune Miku figures, obviously. Like there's an abundance of Hatsune Miku figures out there. And I've never really wanted very many of them. Maybe like a Chinese dress one that recently came out. But even then, I was like, I could go without it. But this one, I saw it and I was like, I love this type of outfit for her. I don't know what about it makes me really like it, but I also like the pose. I love the fact that she's kind of face forward and everything. I just like this outfit. I like this figure and how it's posed and how the hair flows. Everything about it is just really, really nice and I love it. And also, it's kind of something different for my collection. There was also another hot game I actually thought about getting. It was just this rock and roll version where she's looking back with a guitar. And I was like, I like that one, but at the same time, it doesn't fit me because I like music, but I'm like, I'm not into like, I'm not very much into like heavy metal or rock and roll, so I don't even think that fits very well. But this one, this one fits me a lot better because I just love this one. And because it's like my first hot Miku, Miku, most likely will be my only hot Miku, Miku at this point. Um, I can officially say I am now a prominent figure collector like I, it's official now that I have an Hatsune Miku in my collection <laughs> once she comes here um she will be releasing in, in like April 2023 and that's a lot that's a long while that's a long ways away so it's gonna be a little while but I want to just put this one on display here because I'm like this one is just this one's beautiful I'm pretty happy I've got this for my first Hatsune Miku most likely my last we'll see it depends if anything else comes out maybe I'll spurge and get that Chinese dress one depending if I can get some other figures
Well guys, that is my 2022 slash one figure 2023 figure haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And in the comments below, please let me know if you want to see a actual room tour. I know it's a little late in the year. Again, like to the middle of the year now. But let me know if you want me to actually give you a display of what this room is actually like. I did plan to do one, but things kept changing in the room as I wanted to progress. And over time, I was like, okay, I'll probably do it at the end of the year. But let, let me know in the comments below if you like that. Um, please hit that like, subscribe, and tell me else what you'd like to see from this channel. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. See you next time. Space Cowboy.